Uh, yes, my question is for Andre. Andre, as you get older now, and that, I know Kovalev's older than you, but as you get older, how much more difficult is it for you to go through training camps, and how much of a factor is that in you deciding how much longer you want to fight? Um, I think, you know, as a... Uh, you know, when you, anytime you get over 30, you know, you just start to become more mindful that you're punching your clock, you know. And I think at the end of the day, the gauge is just the desire. You know, when I when I look at the desire that I had, you know, in my early 20s, mid-20s, you know, in terms of the way that I put out the duration of training, you know, my coaches having to pull me back and, and fight with me to take days off. You know, when I compare the 20s to the 30s, it's still the same, you know. It's still the same. If anything's different, I have to be, I have to give more attention to my body after I, you know, abuse it and break it down, massage therapy, cold back, those kind of things. That that's pretty much what's changed. But the desire is still there. You know, I'm not getting hit with punches that I normally wouldn't get hit with. I'm not, you know, guys in sparring that I would normally, you know, deal with and hold off. They're not, you know, having their way. So these are these are the things. These are the signs you look at as you get, you know, into your early to mid thirties. Um, and if you're lucky enough beyond that to see if, if, if you know, it's a situation where it, it's time to walk away and, and those types of things aren't even happening. And how how would you assess uh, Kovalev's power from the first fight, especially as it relates to maybe other guys that you fought, obviously, at a lower weight? I mean, honestly, I'm not really in the business of assessing guys' power. You know, I think, uh, like I said before, he's a good fighter. Um, uh, it's not what it's cracked up to be, and um, but I give him his respect. You know, he he uh, he's a a champion, and I think you know once you become a champion and defend your belt, you know you're a champion for life. So, you know, he's a champion caliber fighter, and um, you know we give him that respect. But in terms of rating power and all that kind of stuff, you know, I'm really not in the business of that.